This episode of Eat Your Heart Out contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter, including references of drug and alcohol use, and references to sexual situations. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> you know, when you both asked me to come home with you, I thought we'd be going straight there. Don't worry, handsome. We'll take good care of you. We're just taking the scenic route. The water is so beautiful at night, don't you think? Honestly, I only arrived at Port Aime last night. And haven't seen the bay yet. Oh. Well, we're going to have to remedy that. Right, Dahlia? I've always said that everyone should see the bay at night at least once before they die. It's just water. It can't really be all that interesting, right? Just wait and see, sweetheart. <laughs> Um, are, are we gonna, you know... Know what? Um, a, a threesome in the water? Oh, Dahlia, he guessed our surprise! Don't worry, we have some other surprises in store for him. Y you do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the guys aren't gonna believe this. Yes. Look, we're here. See that skyline and the light hitting the water? It's like diamonds against silk. Wow. Yeah, it's nice. Feels good, too. Hmm? What do you mean? Wait! Where are you both going? Aren't you going to take your clothes off first? Come on, where's your sense of adventure? The water feels heavenly at night. Don't you want to join us? Don't worry. We'll keep you nice and warm. Promise? Just listen to our voices, and you'll feel nothing but pure pleasure. to eat. After you, Morella. Don't mind if I do.
I don't know about you, but he really hit the spot. <sighs> I don't want this night to end. Well, it doesn't have to. Not yet, anyway. There's plenty to see and do. Oh, we should find a party. I'm in the mood for dancing. That's such a good idea. I should find something to bring back for Gwen. She wasn't hungry earlier, but by the time we get back, she may be in need of a snack. And if not, you'll have breakfast sorted. <laughs> Uh, the talent has been severely lacking. Not a single hottie so far. Hunter, <laughs> we've only been out 20 minutes. We haven't even gotten to the bar yet. Yeah, and it's a scientific fact that the first 20 minutes of being out is the optimal time to find the hottest hotties for the night. Uh-huh. And which scientific article did you read that one in, Professor? Mock all you like, but it's true. This is a sign that the entire night will be filled with sixes and sevens at most, and I'll have to lower my standards if I want to get some. You're disgusting. What was that? I said, how will you survive? Look, you don't get it. My body is trained to require action at least three times a week. If I don't, it'd be like going without food and water. I'll get withdrawals. It's like asking me not to breathe. Ben, do you want me not to breathe? I think you need to take a breath. Oh, uh, uh, oh I, I'm so sorry. I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. Uh, are you okay? Oh, don't worry about it. No harm done. Oh, but we really need to insist on making this up to you. Oh? Two beauties like you must join us for dinner. Our treat, as a means of apology. <laughs> Any other night I'd take you up on the offer. I'd practically bite your hand off. That's so. What's stopping you tonight, gorgeous? Sorry, but we already ate. The shadow works me.
Your set sounded really good this afternoon, Ben. Yeah, man. Your vocals were sounding better than usual. Really? You think so? Yeah. You've been sitting in your garage alone at night, haven't you? Howling to the full moon like a little wolf. <laughs> Describing my singing as howling isn't the compliment you think it is. Oh, you know he's just teasing. You have a lovely voice, Ben. You know that. We all know that. Too bad you haven't been discovered yet. Destined to sing in dive bars like this one forever. Hey, I heard that, Hunter. No offense, Millie. I like singing here. Oh yeah, sure, it's fine. For now. But you can't survive off scraps and sparse tips forever. Eventually, your inheritance will run out and you'll need to get a real job. Thanks for the support, man. <sighs> Ignore him, Ben. You'll make it big one day. I appreciate that, but I also don't know if I want to make it big. I don't sing for the money. How typical of you. What is that supposed to mean? You never follow through. You never fight for your dreams. You just sit back and let things happen. Probably why you're single for my birthday bash. Again. <laughs> single? <laughs> oh, why? why do you think that? Please, we all know you don't have a date. Uh, what? There's nothing wrong with that, Ben. Yeah, I mean, Connie doesn't have a date either. Actually, I do. You, you do? do? Uh, yeah. Why do you sound so surprised? Why didn't you tell me? Because it's none of your business. I'm your big brother. I gotta look out for my kid sis. Look out for what? You know, perverts and stuff. Well, I can assure you that Annabelle isn't a pervert. How do you know? You can never tell what's in a person's heart, you know. Wow, Hunter. That's almost deep. You better watch out, Benny. Next thing you know, Hunter will be the one writing all your songs. Yeah, well, maybe his songs would be good then. Ouch, damn, Hunter. You get dumped or something? You're in a particularly sour mood tonight. I was kidding. Didn't sound like it. It... It's okay. He's right. My songs are, uh, mediocre. I just haven't found my muse yet. They aren't mediocre, Ben. They just lack soul. Soul? Yeah, you know, soul. You sing, but it's obvious your heart isn't truly in it. Really? Is that how my music comes across? Yeah. I guess, yeah, maybe. But you sing about things like guy finds girl, girl dumps guy, guy is sad, guy's friend dies, guy gets a dog. Yeah, but th th that's stuff that's happened to me. But those are not moments you treasure. What speaks to your heart, Ben? <laughs> I didn't know this was a Ben roast. If I wanted to roast you, you'd be weeping in the bathroom right now. Or rubbing one out to make yourself feel better. Oh, Hunter, shut up. <clears throat> uh, let's not forget there's a child here. I'm 18. Shh, do you know how many strings I had to pull to get you into this bar tonight, Connie? Ex nay on the AJ. Yeah, yeah. Point is, I'm not a child. You are. Now drink your apple juice and shush up. So, everyone thinks my songs like art. Um... The melodies are grit. Why haven't you told me this before? Connie is the only one with the courage to tell me I suck? You're welcome. You don't suck, Ben. It's just that you should sing about something you're truly passionate about. I... don't know what that is. There must be something. Someone that you have deep feelings for. <laughs> Please. Ben's relationships never last long enough for him to develop deep feelings. Hunter. No, he's not wrong. My longest relationship is four weeks. <sighs> I just don't know what I'm doing to drive everyone away. Maybe it's the company you keep. Devon! <laughs> Man, it sure is going to be awkward when you're the only one without a date on my birthday. It's gonna be embarrassing when the game starts and you don't have a team. I won't be the only one. Besides, there's still a handful of weeks until the party. And you're not going to find a date in time. I'm sure I can. Oh, really? I bet you 300 bucks you'll be sad, pathetic, and dateless. $300? That's a bit excessive, isn't it? I'm not concerned in the slightest. 
In fact, I might just go ahead and order myself those new shoes I've been eyeing. I'll be $300 richer in a few weeks. Uh, I'll take that bet! Ben, don't encourage him. No, let him. I can't wait to see how this plays out. Oh, Ben, I have a friend I can no, set you- No, no one sets him up, understand? Ben needs to do this on his own. Fine. Doesn't make a difference to me. I can't wait to see your face when you hand over that money. Hand it over to the cashier when I buy my shoes? I imagine I'll be smiling. Like this. Okay, boys, calm down. It's late, and nothing is going to happen tonight. Actually, yeah. It's almost ten. We should probably get going. Alana and I have work in the morning. And I've got school. Ah, <sighs> fine. I guess we'll turn in for the night. Ready to go, Denise? Ah, uh, yep! Ben, you want a lift? Ah, uh, nah. It's okay. I think I might head over to the cafe and see if I can find my soul. Good luck with that. Alright, see y'all later. Later! Don't stay up too late, Ben. See ya. Yeah, Ben. Rogerson. No, we dated last year. Oh. Well, I mean, it was only a few dates and... Hello? <sighs> that was a rough one. Okay, three more. Hello? It's been a while, Sandra. It's Ben. Yes, I'm doing well. How have you been these past few months? Engaged? Oh, that's... Uh, <laughs> that's... Congratulations! That's wonderful news. Me? Oh, uh, uh, um, <laughs> not too much. Was just thinking about you and wanted to see how you were doing. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll talk to you later. Congratulations again. God, this is humiliating. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know why I let Hunter get under my skin like this. So what if you're single for his birthday party? It's just like any other night. Only with a more obnoxious Hunter. Hey, Ben! Uh, hi, Kylie. Oh, rough night? Well, my self-confidence sure took a hit. <sighs> you want the usual? On the house, my friend. Oh, sure. Thank you. So, why the long face? <sighs> Hunter. <laughs> of course. What did that gorgeous ass do this time? Just pointed out how much of a loser I apparently am. And how I'll never go anywhere with my music. <sighs> Don't you listen to him, Benjamin. You are a handsome guy with a great voice. Hunter's probably just jealous because he's all looks and little brain. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I wish I was less brain and more looks. Hunter has no trouble with women. And me? Well... It seems like the moment they get to know me, they run. <laughs> I can't help you there, but I do know that you are one of the sweetest guys I have met. There's a gal out there for you somewhere. Thanks, Kylie. I just... I made a stupid bet with Hunter that I'd be able to find a date for his annual birthday bash, but it looks like I'm going to be out 300 bucks. Hmm. I don't know about that. I feel like your luck might be about to change. <laughs> What do you mean? Hello, handsome. Uh... Me? <laughs> yes. Um... Hello? <sighs> Can I get something for you? Just water for now. Thanks. One water coming right up. Um... Am I in your seat? No. I didn't know you could reserve seats here. Oh, uh, you can't. I, I just thought that maybe you, uh, you see, I, I just, uh, I am a little confused why you're talking to me. Can't a lady want to enjoy the company of a good guy? You mean me? You're the only one around. You aren't very confident in yourself, are you? After today? No, not really. Well, you should be. You, sir, aren't just a snack, as they say. You are an entire meal. 
One that I'd love to gobble up. <laughs> uh, I'm Ben. Morella. Morella? That's a unique name. I don't think I've ever met someone else with that name. Trust me, Ben. You've never met someone like me before. Uh, <laughs> uh okay. Your water, miss. Thanks. So, you come here a lot? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> ben is a regular. If he's not here every night, we start to worry. Oh, really? No, Kylie is just joking. I'm not here every night. Just every other night. Are you always here alone? <coughs> alone? <laughs> no, not always. So... You have someone who would miss you if you didn't come home tonight? Huh? Uh... <laughs> um... No. No? Um... Well... <clears throat> there is my dog, Oscar, but... He's been fed, so he will probably be asleep all night. Fascinating. Are you always this nervous around women? Uh, no. But... I've never met a woman so, um, uh, direct before. Am I direct? Yes. Well, maybe it's because I know what I want. Do you know what you want? Uh, to be honest, uh, no, not really. Well, I want you tonight. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, did Hunter put you up to this? Hunter? Leo, Alana, Devin, or... D so many words, and none of them have any meaning to me. What was your name again, handsome? Um, b b Ben. Benjamin, but <laughs> most people call me Ben. Okay, Ben. Tell me, do you want to come with me? Or do you want to stay here alone? Listen, you are gorgeous. Like, incredibly beautiful, but... I'm not the sort of guy who just goes home with a woman without knowing a single thing about them. You know my name, and you know I want you. What more do you need? Well, how about we start with a few drinks? We can talk and get to know one another. Then can we leave together? Let's see how things go, <laughs> okay? I don't understand. You don't want to come with me? I'm being pranked, right? A hunter is lurking around here somewhere with a camera, right? All right, fine. You want to talk first? Talk. Talk? Okay, um, well, let's start with an easy one. Are you from around here? No, we recently came to this town. We? My sister, her wife, and I. Are you close with your family, then? Yes. Blunt answers. All right. What made you come to Portheim? There was a change to the water in October. We were drawn to it. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. A change to the water? Like a surge in fish? Or are you a marine biologist? Here to investigate the reefs or something? Where are you from? Ah. Okay, then. I'm from Portheim, born and raised. It's pretty quiet here, except for, you know, the serial killer and that kid going missing on Christmas and those campers. You know, um, normal stuff? Uh-huh. Did you hear about those? Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for attending tonight's Open Mic Night. We have the karaoke machine up and running for anyone wanting to try their hand at singing. <laughs> oh, shit. It's Open Mic Night? Uh, sorry, it's going to get kind of loud in here. What is that? Open mic? Oh, this cafe does karaoke every other week on Thursdays. You know, people get up on the stage and sing. Sing? These people are going to sing? Some of them, yeah. What about you? Do you sing? I do, but I only sing for those I choose. Choose? For what? Like how I chose you, Ben. You'll hear me sing tonight. Oh, are you going up on stage? I was not speaking to you. <laughs> Whoa, okay, relax. Uh, what about you, Ben? Are you going to grace us with a song? Um, 
I don't know. I'm not really feeling it tonight. You sing as well? Yeah. Although apparently not very well. Oh, ignore your friends, Ben. I've heard you sing, and you're magnificent. I want to hear. You do? Yes. Let me see how talented you are. Um... Okay. I'll go sign up then. Hey, I know it's none of my business, but if you are interested in Ben, try a less aggressive approach. He's a sweet guy who is looking for someone to love, not a quick one-night stand. Thanks for the tip, but I know how to handle men. Trust me, no one can resist my charms. <sighs> Listen up. Ben is my friend, and I don't want to see him hurt. Then close your eyes. What? Okay, there's two people ahead of me. Is everything okay? Of course. So, Benjamin, you're quite muscular. You work out? Ah, uh, not so much. I mean, I have my dog, Oscar, that I walk three or four times a day, and I volunteer a lot at Portheim Prep. My mom was the drama teacher there, and they would always put on such incredible plays. So, when my mother died, I started building cool sets for the drama department to use as a way to honor her. But it's a lot of heavy lifting. Mm-hmm. And you're not listening to a word I'm saying. What? Uh, n not that I want pity or even sympathy, but... I just told you my mother died, and all you had to say was... Mm-hmm. I... <laughs> of course, I was listening, silly. I just thought that you would expand on that if you wanted to talk about such a terrible memory. Huh. I'm still convinced this is a prank. Lana sent you here. Maybe it was Devin. He would think my problems would be solved if I got laid. No one sent me here. Hopefully someone will send you away. Some water before you go on stage. Thanks, Kylie. Look, Ben. I'm not used to people saying no to me. Usually, people jump at the chance to leave with me. This small talk stuff, it's not something I'm good at. I can understand that. So, can we just pretend that... By the grace of Adder Gaddis, can someone please stop this assault on my ears? Ugh. <laughs> If you hate it so much, why don't you leave? It takes a lot of courage to get up on stage and sing in front of people. Well, liquid courage in their case. Why do you allow such inept people on your stage? Because this is a place where people come to have fun and let loose. Maybe you should try that instead of being so quick to judge. Kylie. Oh, <laughs> don't come to her defense, Ben. Is this how you should be treating a paying customer? You ordered a water, sweetheart. Okay, let's all calm down, yeah? I'm sure Morella doesn't mean any harm. That's not the impression I got. Perhaps I should be taking you home tonight instead. <laughs> no power on Earth will ever make that happen. We'll see about that. Oh, God damn it! not again! I swear, if they fall off the stage one more time... Did something happen? What do you mean? I've never seen Kylie act like that before. She's worried I'm going to hurt you. Oh, I see. Do you get hurt by women a lot? Uh, yeah, I guess I do. That's unfortunate. Trust me, I know. But it's probably my fault, right? I must be doing something wrong. Ben, you're up! <sighs> okay, here I go. This should be amusing. Give it up for Ben Rogerson! Woo! Hello! <laughs> I hope everyone is having a good evening so far. I was told by some friends that my music needed more heart, so I'm going to sing something I've been working on recently.
suddenly feels so much smaller as if just the two of us there and she walks on over with a smile in her heart I never want her to So I pull up a chair and play a little tune, my strings ringing out through the din. There is no other here with us in the the silence of the uh, No way. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks, Kylie. I actually feel really good. That was a lot of fun. You... Um... Sorry, I... <laughs> was I that bad? No! You were... incredible. Really? Yes, I... <clears throat> you sing very well. Thanks. Can... Can we start over? Mm -hmm. Can we pretend that I just sat down and that we haven't spoken before. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess so. If, if that's what you want? Yes. Well then, my name is Ben. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, Ben. My name is Morella. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I feel like I've talked your ear off this evening. Nope. Both still here. <laughs> That's kind of you to say, but really, I feel like I've been the one dominating the conversation. I honestly don't mind. I could listen to your voice forever, Ben. Nah, you'd get bored. You're not good at accepting compliments, are you? It's not easy for me now. You promise this hasn't been a complete drag for you? Not even a little? Ben, relax. If I don't enjoy someone's company, they don't last long. Don't last long? <laughs> you almost sound like a movie villain. Do I? Hey, as much as I hate to break this up, I love my bed more than you two. <sighs> I need to close up. Really? Uh, can't we stay a little longer? Uh, yeah, I don't really want to stay here long enough to witness sunrise. Sorry. <sighs> Listen, I'll go through my final checks of the place again, and you two can wrap this up, okay? Thanks, Skyly. So, I have something to ask you, and with the time counting down, I don't want you to feel pressured into saying yes. Ask away. Okay, so... I'd love to see you again, and if you're free, I was wondering if you'd be my date for Hunter's birthday bash. Sounds great. I'd love to. Wait, really? Really. <sighs> okay, you two. Time to leave. As always, Ben, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for your patronage. Now get out. Okay, okay, we're going. I'll see you later, Kylie. You know where to find me. Bye, Morella. It was interesting to meet you. Farewell. Um... Everything okay? Look, I need to tell you something. You can tell me anything. Well, the thing is, earlier tonight I made a bet with Hunter that I could find a date for his birthday bash. Okay. I just want you to know that I asked you because I genuinely want you to be my date, not because of a stupid bet. The last thing I want is for you to think I was desperate or for you to find out about the bet later and doubt my intentions. I want to be honest with you and avoid any misunderstandings. You're cute when you worry. This doesn't bother you? You still want to be my date? Why would it bother me? I'll still be your date, but I should probably head home. Good night. Oh, 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 oh right. Uh, good night. Yes! <laughs> Cute. Hey, beautiful. You, uh, you looking for some company? Hmm? As a matter of fact, I'm starving. Want to help a girl out and join me? <laughs> Say no more. But, uh, how about we, uh, skip ahead to your dessert first? How about you stop talking? devour you, of course. Do you know how difficult it is to clean up blood when it's on the land? <sighs> Can't say I do. Wait. Before I kill you, I have a question. I will do my best to answer, my beautiful goddess. What exactly is a hunter's birthday bash? I'm back. Welcome home. Did you have a good evening? I did, I think. You think? Are you okay, Mar? You look sort of pale. I'm fine. Did you eat? I did, but... But? Have you ever felt worse after eating? Worse? What do you mean by worse? It was the strangest thing. I actually wasn't all that hungry, but I knew I should probably eat. 
So I found someone, and he... Well, he tasted bad. Like, I felt nauseous eating him. That shouldn't happen. I know that, but it did. I couldn't finish him, so I left the rest for the sharks. Hmm, how strange. Uh, it was probably just bad meat. I've heard illness can affect a human's taste. So he was diseased? Possibly, yes. There's many reasons why a human might taste off. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Right. Yeah, I'll let my stomach settle and try again next week. You go get some rest. Yeah. Good night. You know human diseases have nothing to do with the taste. There is only one reason Mar would get nauseous after eating a human, and you and I both know it's because she has feelings, for one. We can't jump to conclusions. There are outside factors that can make her feel ill, diseases being one of them. The human could have put something into their body, too. Oh, remember the first time you had a human who just smoked weed? <laughs> you spat her lungs up saying they tasted bad. Do, do you think that's all it is? Maybe. I mean, which is more likely? Bad meat or Morella falling for a human? Yeah, you're right. As if there could ever be a human that could capture Morella's heart. Are you sure you're happy with this? I mean, I don't have to tell you that these things are permanent. What's well, not to be happy about? I mean, look at this design. It's badass. So, is there a significance for it? Uh, you know, other than the, um, badass design. Ben, isn't it obvious? The lion is the king of the jungle, the most ferocious hunter in the Sahara. I'm the king of this concrete jungle. It's perfect. I guess. If snarling lions are your thing. They're everyone's thing. If you say so. Huh? What'd you say? I said, where will it go? Oh, a masterpiece like this has got to go somewhere for all to see, right? Yeah, obviously. Which is why I decided on my chest. Everyone knows that after my face, it's my best feature. So, you weren't tempted to get a face tattoo? No way. A lion on my face would just be tacky. Yeah, that would be tacky. Ah, uh, this weight is killing me. Distract me, please. Oh, well, I've got a date for your birthday. <sighs> uh-huh, sure you do, bud. You could have at least waited a few days before lying. At least that'd make it look like you tried to find someone. No, really. It's true. I met her last night. All right, I'll pretend I believe you. So, Ben... Where did you meet this completely real date of yours? Could you at least try to not be a condescending ass? I could, yes, but um, my way is more fun. I should have known better. Alright. I met her at Orca Beans. Eh, I've seen regulars in that place. Okay, starting to believe you picked up a date there. Promise me she's at least average looking. My birthdays have a standard I'd like to maintain. Hey, don't talk like that. Morella's beautiful. Oh, come on. It was a joke. Don't tell me you're already head over heels for this chick. No, not head over heels. But in the time we talked, I could tell she was different. I haven't felt like this about anyone before. That is because your brain and body are so deprived of any action. The second you get any attention, it's like a starved person finally getting something to eat. Is this another one of your scientific facts? No. Not science. Biology. Oh, right. Silly me. Before this goes any further and you get your heart stomped on at my birthday, I need to see this girl for myself. Get her to come to the bar tonight. If I do, will you promise to not be so interrogative? Cross my heart and hope to die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Well... We were so busy talking and arranging the date that I forgot to get her number. <laughs> oh, Ben, she played you. What? No, she didn't. She totally did. She's just being nice and said that because she knew she hadn't given you her contact info. It makes complete sense. No, she's not like that. It must have slipped her mind, too. Shit. How do I get in touch with her now? Oh, poor deluded Ben. I love you, but the sad truth is, you don't. You'll never see her again, and that's the way she clearly wants it. No, I'm not giving up. I know she likes me too. 
I have to think of a way to contact her. Look, if you can work out a way and can still get her to the bar tonight, I'll buy you that guitar model you've been admiring for your birthday. Wait, the cafe! She was there last night. There's a chance she could be there tonight, too. Oh, yeah, that's a plan. You go hang out at the cafe all night because you're definitely not going to be stood up. Hunter, I'm Runa. I'll be your artist today. Oh, they're ready for me! You're here for a black and white realism lion on your... My chest. Please, follow me. Okay, have fun. Where are you going? I'll be back. I'm going to Orca Beans, and I'm going to ask Kylie to send Morella to the bar if she shows up tonight. Perfect plan, right? I wouldn't hold my breath that it'll work, but you definitely get points for creativity and optimism in an obviously hopeless case. Trust me, this is gonna work. You're gonna meet Morella tonight, and you'll see that she's different. Well, at least when this crashes and burns spectacularly, I'll have front row seats. And then the little darling drew this picture of us from the zoo field trip. See? Wow, that's terrible. You look like melted Sasquatches with pink fur. Do Sasquatches have fur or hair? I'd imagine they have hair. I mean, gorillas have hair, right? And Bigfoot is just a big gorilla. Whoa, wait. What? Did you... Did you just say Bigfoot is a gorilla? Yeah, so? So? Bigfoot is a Sasquatch, Alana? Wait, I thought Bigfoot was a Yeti. Uh, no, that's the abominable snowman. No way, come on, Ben. Back me up here. Hmm? Oh, stop watching the door, man. She's not coming. Leave him alone, Hunter. I'm sure she's just running late. Nah, we aren't changing the subject until you tell me that you acknowledge that Bigfoot is a Sasquatch. Oh my god, Leo, it doesn't even matter. There she is. Wait, where? Right there. In the, uh, red dress. Really? Holy shit. She's fucking hot, dude. What the? Uh, come again? Uh, uh, I, I mean, uh, she's okay. Okay? She's like a supermodel or something. There is no way in hell that woman is interested in you. Why is that? Because people like her date people like me, not average-looking creative types. Wow, Hunter. That's a really fu- Ben! Marilla, you made it. Uh, these are my friends. Devin? Hey there. Denise? Hello. Alana? Nice to meet you. Alana's boyfriend, Leo? How's it going? And this is- Hey, gorgeous. I'm Hunter. Hello. It's, um... Nice to meet you all. Uh, here, a uh, sit. Thank you, Ben. So, Morella, what do you do? Do? Yeah, like, what's your job? Um, I don't have one. I thought you were here in Portheim because of the change in the water? Um, my sister, she's here because of that. I just sort of followed her. Okay, that's nice. You and your sister must have a pretty good relationship for you to move to a new place with her. Yes, she means everything to me. Our parents died when we were quite young, and Dahlia ended up having to raise me. Really? You didn't tell me that. It happened a long time ago. I... I don't even remember them. I'm sorry, Morella. It's okay, Ben. Really. Ugh, oh, this is depressing. Can we please stop talking about dead parents? My apologies, I didn't mean to bring down the mood. Don't apologize. You were just answering a question I asked. And Hunter is being an ass. I am not. So, Morella, have you done modeling? Because you totally should. I haven't. Is it fun? <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, it seems pretty glamorous. Getting flown around to exotic places and getting to wear elegant clothing. Morella sings. Oh, you do? I do sing, but it's not a profession. And I don't sing in front of people. Sounds like someone else I know. That reminds me, you said I'd get to hear you sing last night, but I never got to. Uh, perhaps another time. You and Ben should do a duet sometime. <laughs> that could be fun. Yeah, maybe. Two singers that don't like to sing in front of other people? Yeah, sounds like a great idea. Hunter, why don't you go get us another round of drinks? No way! <sighs> I'll pay for the next round. Morella, you game? No, thank you. I think I'll just grab a water. Water? Got it. Come on, Hunter. Help us carry the drinks. Ugh, fine. 
Don't let Hunter get to you two. He's probably just upset he's going to be out $300. Alana! It's okay. I told Morella about the bet. Besides, I was the one who approached Ben. So their little wager means nothing to me. Okay, good. I'd hate for you to think that Ben was only using you to win a bet. What made you go talk to Ben, if you don't mind me asking? Um, well, he was alone. And healthy looking. I, I mean, it looks like he takes care of himself. <laughs> was that why you first approached me? We are forgetting about that. Remember? Wait, forgetting about what? It's nothing. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I want to know. So, healthy looking guys are what you are interested in. Healthy people in general, yes. They taste... <laughs> I mean, they have similar tastes as me. Oh, a health nut. Explains why you're so fit. Uh, I meant that as a compliment. It's good to be conscious about your health. Is that why you just drink water? One of the reasons, yes. Alcohol tends to affect me in negative ways. <laughs> Doesn't that apply to everyone? Well, I think it's good. You know your body best, and if you have adverse reactions to alcohol, it's best to avoid it. Coming through. Drinks for the table. And a water for the lovely lady. Thank you. Does everyone have their costumes for Hunter's birthday? I'm just gonna use my bedsheet. Ew, gross. You better at least wash it first. Nah. I think Denise and I are gonna have some wild sex right before the party. Ugh, nasty. He's joking. I ordered some togas online. I'm probably not dressing up. What? Dude, it's a costume party. You have to dress up. You can't force people, Hunter. What, you afraid to show your new fling your body? Or is having fun in costume for my birthday suddenly beneath you? It's not that. Whatever, man. Just wear whatever, I guess. But you're not going to be included in any of the group photos. Right! So, Morella, I have a very important question for you. Bigfoot. Just let it go, would you? What is Bigfoot? What do you mean? Like, what species is Bigfoot? Well, I believe they are Sasquats. Huh? Um, Sasquatch? Ha! <laughs> I was right! Congratulations. You're the biggest cryptic nerd at the table. I don't mind that, Morella. We're always arguing about something, but it's all in good fun. Do you know a lot about cryptids, Morella? I suppose I do. You believe in all that garbage? Come on, Hunter. Lay off. What, I'm not allowed to ask her questions, but everyone else is? You're being an ass about it. How so? You've got a tone. A tone? This is just the way I talk. <laughs> Whatever, Hunts. Come on, Leo. Why don't we jump on the dance floor and you can show me how Bigfoot would boogie. <laughs> I'll dance if you promise to never say that again. Come on, Tiger. So you came to Portheim recently. Do you plan to stay here long? Well, I'm not entirely sure. We don't stay in one place for too long. Oh, you don't? No. There are often circumstances that require us to move on, but Portheim seems like a nice town, and maybe we will get to stay here for a little while yet. It would be a shame if you had to leave before my party. You wouldn't leave that soon, right? No. Or at least I certainly hope not. You know what we need. Some of those little charcuterie boards. Ooh, yes. Great idea. We will be right back. Your woman is out of water, Ben. Why don't you get her a refill? Um, uh, right. It's okay, Ben. I can go get more. No. You sit tight. I'll be back before you know it. All right, Morella. Tell me. What's your game? Game? Yeah. I mean, there's no way a gorgeous woman like yourself would go out with a guy like Ben. Oh, really? Then who would a girl like me go out with? Me, of course. Hot, rich. Any girl would be lucky to date me. Hmm. Now that you mention it, you are more my taste. Right? We'd be a smoking hot couple. People would stop in their tracks to stare as we walk by. <laughs> Is that what you like? For people to stare at you? No, I like it when people worship me. I see. Well, unfortunately for you, I actually really like Ben. So, I won't be bringing you home anytime soon. 
We could always go to my place. Ben doesn't need to know. You're not a very good friend, are you? Excuse me? Do you try this with all of Ben's girlfriends? What? Have you done this before? You're the reason he keeps getting hurt, aren't you? How dare you? You know nothing about me, even less about my friendship with Ben. He's like a brother to me. And yet you would try to destroy his relationship with me? I'm doing you both a favor. You and I both know that you're going to get bored of him. He can't satisfy someone like you. Besides, he's only using you to win a bet. You mean the bet that he'd be single for your birthday party? H he told you about that? He did, and I hate to break it to you, but Ben isn't using me. We just like each other's company and wanted to explore that more. I don't believe that for a moment. You're not interested in him. You can't be. Why not? Because Ben is a loser. I have money, a mansion, I'm ripped. I could snap Ben like a twig. So, that's how you really feel about your brother. I wonder what he would have to say about all this. Don't you fucking dare say anything to him. He wouldn't believe you anyways. Ben will always choose me over some slut that picked him up at a cafe. What did you just call me? Hey, everything okay? Everything's fine. Thanks for the water. Of course. I'm leaving. Wait, why? Did something happen? No, nothing happened. Right, Morella? Yes, that's right. We were just chatting. Uh, okay. Uh, are you sure? You both look kind of tense. What is this, an interrogation? No, I just want to make sure you're both okay. We are fine, Ben. Promise. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Is everything okay? Where is Hunter going? He said he was leaving and just left. That's weird. Did something happen? No, nothing happened. He, uh, mentioned something about meeting up with someone. Uh, probably some booty call. Oh well, that means more drinks for us. Bye guys! Thanks for tonight! Our pleasure. Bye, Morella. It was so great to meet you. So fun. Ben doesn't deserve you. Leo? Kidding. Bye, Ben. Bye, Morella. Oh, um, bye, everyone. Can't wait to see you again. Yeah, we have to see you again. You know, before Hunter's party. Definitely. Ben, let us know, okay? Will do. Again, tonight was great. Get home safe. Okay. Now that we're alone, is everything okay? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Tonight was fun. A little strange and overwhelming, I'll admit. In what way? Only if you want to talk to me about it, that is. Well, I've never interacted with a group of people like that before. Wait, really? Well, I'm more used to a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing with people. Sorry. I didn't know you had that kind of social anxiety in groups. It's sweet that you worry, but I'll be fine after a few more interactions like tonight. Well, everyone was eager to see you again. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't just as excited. <laughs> when were you thinking? Oh! Oh, well, I'm not sure. How about you give me your phone number and I'll call or message? Well, that'll be difficult. I don't have a phone number. Seriously? Seriously. Uh, how about email? Don't have one either. Sorry. Any social media at all? Again, no. Wow. It's so surprising that there are people who aren't dependent on technology. It's refreshing. But? But it just makes it hard to think of a way to get a hold of you. Oh. Don't worry, I'll find you. How? I have my ways. You really are a mystery. Thank you. I strive to elude and confuse. Well, mission accomplished. So, how about I walk you home? No! Okay, wasn't expecting that reaction. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have shouted like that. I... I mean no thank you. You got a secret husband at home that I don't know about or something? Nothing like that, it's just... I live with my sister and... Uh, no, hey, it's okay. 
You don't need to explain. I understand. Really? Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, I'll see you next time then. Wait. I don't want to say goodnight just yet. What are you saying? Come home with me. Okay. Really? But because you don't have to if you don't want to. I want to. Take me home with you. This episode was written by Jenna Oliver and Carrie Murphy. Starring the voice talents of... Ryan Hoyle as Benjamin Rogerson. Lauren Kong as Morella. Leo Jerez as Hunter. Angie Min as Dahlia. Sky Signari Wong as Alana. Oliver Smith as Leo. Jillian Lang as Denise. Daniel Bazon as Devin. Alexis Phantom as Connie. Joy Hennis as Gwen. Jenna Rose as Kylie. Kiana Morgan Camille. Michael Ignacio Jr. as Steven. Melissa J. Lackey as Drunk Singer. Vanessa Benoit as Runa. Trenton Butt as Drunk. Music, main theme, and various vocals by Key Garland. Wayward duet vocals by Anip09. Vocals for Benjamin Rogerson, provided by Ryan Hoyle. Vocals for Morella, provided by Lauren Kong. Vocals for Dahlia, provided by Joy Hennis. Casting by Lucas Xavier and Key Garland. Hello, this is Jenna Oliver from Wolf and Magpie Media. Thanks so much for listening to Episode 1 of Eat Your Heart Out. Eat Your Heart Out Episode 2 will be released Monday, May 15th. Episode 3 of Eat Your Heart Out will be released Monday, May 22nd. And on Monday, May 29th, we will release the full feature version. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.